players as well. Um, and cricket player, right? Yes, I play county cricket, play for the MCC, so yeah, excited to be here and to see that, that cricket will be part of the event, so looking forward to it. Yeah, so it's all pretty amazing. There's only people here that film with us, even though I've been filming. Um, but yeah, it is beautiful. Thank you for everyone. Yeah, for me, the, uh, the last six months have been a little bit mental. Um, you know, after winning uh, two Paralympic medals, you know, I then went on to win MasterChef, and then I went into I'm a Celebrity, and I feel like I've been doing so much since then. Um, but at the same time, the Queen's Baton has been travelling its way around the Commonwealth, which is really exciting. Yeah, so today we are launching the nomination of the Queen Baton Relay Ambassadors. Uh, we're looking for 2022. 2022 um, ambassadors and these are going to be inspirational people from within the community um, and we want you to you know go out and nominate them head to the website and uh, yeah nominate some amazing people um, it's just been an amazing six months for me and honestly getting um, you know nominated on the, the honors list to get an OBE was something I hadn't expected um, and it's an amazing feeling to know that you know what I've done has been recognized and that um, is deserving of an OBE. Um, has it sunk in? Not quite yet. I think maybe when I'm stood there and it's about to be uh, pinned on me, maybe then I'll be like, oh my God, I am now Kadena Cox MBE. No, OBE. <laughs> yeah, do you know, I think the opportunities to do these things is amazing. You know, I'm not just an athlete. There's more to me than that. And it's really nice to be able to showcase that to the, the rest of the country. Um, and I also think it's amazing that I've had the opportunity to kind of highlight, you know, disabilities, chronic illnesses, multiple sclerosis, and just what it's like to be living with a disability um, and for people to be able to have a little bit of an insight into that. And it kind of showcases another side to me as an athlete and to athletes in general. Um, and I think also for people that are at home living with disabilities, um, it gives them a boost and, you know, just a reminder that, you know, they can keep going, they can do um, things if they just set their mind to it. And um, yeah, they can get through like different challenges. And I think for me, you know, getting the messages of people that have been inspired or empowered to get up and do stuff, um, that's kind of what I live for. And there's people that are, you know, struggling with their diagnosis that um, say that seeing me has made them realize it's not all bad. That's why I do what I do. So having these opportunities, um, as much as I'm missing training, it's amazing to have these opportunities. Yes, yeah, so the next six, seven months for me is going to be really hectic. You know, I've got to qualify for the Commonwealth Games. Um, I'm here talking about it like I'm already selected, but I've still got to qualify. Um, so I've got to get back into training and get some good training under my belt. Um, I've got uh, cycling world championships as well as um, athletics world championships, but Commonwealth Games comes before both of those. Um, so I need to qualify for that and hopefully, you know, I'll just be fighting fit and ready to go and attempt to uh, take that gold medal. And I mean, a world record would be nice on top of that, but um, it would be a little bit cheeky. <laughs>